just a disclaimer, I am not a music critic, but I am a huge fan of the artist Dance Gavin Dance. Um, if you clicked on this video and you don't know who they are, they are a band that came out maybe 10, 15 years ago, a punk band, you could say. And I'm a huge fan, I love them. And their latest album came out and um, I have some thoughts. Yeah, I got thoughts and I'm listening to it right now because it's not really that good. Um, it doesn't really capture the spirit of the things that made me a fan in the first place from their last projects or previous ones. From instant gratification to mothership to even their last one, Artificial Selection, which I didn't feel like was their best body of work. But there are a lot of good gems on there. I'm listening to the first song. You can actually hear me listening to it, you know, at the same time. Hopefully it doesn't get me a copyright strike, but it's by far the best song on the album. Definitely, bar none. But unfortunately it doesn't get much better from there. It actually starts going down drastically and I don't want to chop the album up and destroy that shit, but Let's go to the next song. I've heard this one a thousand times. I've actually used it in my Instagram stories. If you guys check out Instagram, check out my Instagram. You know, it's more of my health and fitness stuff, but hopefully you enjoy it. But I used the, for my story today, I used this particular song and it's amazing. But unfortunately, it's the only good song on the album and it just drastically gets worse and worse as the next songs go by. Let, let's listen, how about that? By the way, that, that, that first song is called Prisoners, and it is a very good song. If you want a good introduction to their type of sound, this is a fresher sound than what they're used to. It's a lot more cleaner than they're used to making. They're a little more gnarly or more grungy. Uh, but this is a lot more clean, um, but it works in my opinion for a uh, intro This is actually a very good uh, opener for an album the next track which is Lyrics lie. I mean the beginning is kind of nice. You know, it's sort of typical They're an artist that likes to take people in different directions in their song So you can be listening to one song and there could be three or four completely different sections of it And what you can do is you can take little nibbles out of certain songs that you like You're like all right This song may not be great, but there's a piece right in the middle that just sounds really uh, high quality Or you know something, you know right at the end that sort of gets the blood pumping or even in the beginning of an, a song uh, dance Gavin Dance, one song sort of can take you on a journey, and that's why I love them. But if you guys are enjoying my uh, review of, of this or anything on this channel, please uh, give it a like, thumbs up, or whatever, uh, and subscribe, and I'm going to do some more. Even leave a comment and just let me know how you feel about it. But the, 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 the second track is just unremarkable. That's, that's what I'm getting from it, honestly. It's just unremarkable. Uh, there's a nice little piece of it. It was like, nice to meet you, blah, blah, blah. There's a beat in there that's nice uh, in the hook, but it's just, it's just, that's it. That's the nugget that you get that's good in the second track, just the hook. And the third track is, I don't even know how to say this. It's a Spanish track. It's Calamantinido Global, I think. I can't say it right. I'm going to put it up here. Oh. Holy fuck, it just sounds bad. Oh, man. This is one of those, those those tracks where you sort of like look at your friends and put your head down. It's it's not it's not great. Oh, man, there's some real chunky lyrics in there. Oh, man. Sonically, it just doesn't really sound great. I don't know what they were trying to do with this song, but they just need to not. I mean, it goes to highs, lows. It's just, I can't. I've never, I haven't been able to listen to this whole track since I've listened to it on Google Play. I, I can't. I really, I seriously can't. I gotta go to the next track. And luckily, they had this, the next track is called Three Wishes. Um,. And yeah, man, it's a nice palate cleanser from that fucking trash from that last song. I really am not trying to be brutal, honestly. I swear to God. I, this is a nice palate cleanse. It's nice and chill. 
Mm, you know, it sounds beautiful. It's a nice palate cleanse, let's just say that, from where it was going. But then the hook goes, oh. Then it turns into fucking Christian rock out of nowhere. I make offbeat noises with my little guitar. What kind of fucking half-hearted lyrics are these? Get a Dance Gavin Dance album to me personally has these like hills and valleys and their songs consider a good Dance Gavin Dance album because there's some sketchy ones in there obviously um, but a good Dance Gavin Dance album uh, or even a good metal album in general that wants to bring you somewhere emotionally it brings you on a journey and then sometimes when it's too it's just the, the peaks and valleys are just too different and even in the songs the peaks and valleys are just too drastically different sometimes and then John mashes up and it's just like a muddled mess like Linkin Park circa minutes to midnight like fuck anyway sorry for that rant um, we're gonna skip this woefully generic one in a million Sounds like a it sounds like a, a good beginning. This sounds like Dance Gavin Dance I know. Sometimes they like to like drag your songs out to begin to, 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 to the drop. And if it's if it's not a satisfying drop, it kinda like defeats the purpose of having it wait so long. Drop and it hits. One in a million, that's a decent drop. That's not a bad drop. But uh yeah. It turned back into a middle of the road generic Dance Gavin Dance song, which Dance Gavin Dance, their their measuring stick is so high. So a mediocre song from Dance Gavin Dance is it can be on par with some people's smash hits, in my opinion. Dance Gavin Dance, in terms of stardom, to me, they're like um, you know uh, WWE NTX, you know whatever. They're like the <laughs> they're like past independent. You know they're super group level almost, but they're not make they're not like Justin Bieber level or like Usher. You know what I mean? But you know, but if they keep on making you know experimental garbage like this, holy fuck balls! This next song is called uh, Parody Catharsis, and I just I just hear blish blash, and here if a song can't hook me, then I I've. I, I've tried at least maybe 15 times to get through the whole album, and the times that I did get through the album, they were so foggy I can't remember parts of it. Oh, this garbage part. Oh, my leg up. Oh, you gotta get up. Whatever, some leg up shit. Like, like some the, the little rap interlude that they try to put inside every song or every album. They at least have one, you know, sort of rapish interlude. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And this one is just like, they. This one is basically just an asset they just found to to spice up a song, which, which, cheapens it, and also makes it be just a wasted asset that makes a a whack song not any more interesting you know they're going for a beachy vibe i think i don't know what the fuck they're going for right now honestly like it's just not it's experimental and i and i love to travel with an artist to their to their you know crazy roads like i was still a lincoln park fan until the very fucking end like seriously i can't finish it so I've heard this album like 15 times already, and like I said, the times where I f got all the way through it were so fuzzy, because it just seemed it it didn't ha it lacked a it lacked a, a face like a voice a, like a like a personality all its own, and maybe it was just too much experimentation, too many asides in there that just changed things. But oh, Strawberries Wake, their their other single. Bland garbage. I'm skipping it. Born of Fells, not bad. I mean, the hook's not bad. The beginning is a little gnarly. It's a little gnarly in my ear. I really don't want to make this too long, but we're going to listen to this in real time. And you could see the reactions on my face where 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 it's, it gets a little rough. I can't... I can't... I, I'm like 40 minutes in, it's just like, blah. Just look, listen to Born to Fell from Dance Gavin Dance, and you, 
this is not a good dance given dance like you don't want to introduce this this won't be the first song you want your friends to listen to when you introduce dance given dance this wouldn't be on the the fucking list if you have an album like a body of work and there's a song on that album that you wouldn't like put in a greatest hits album you don't fucking fucking put that shit on the album that shit just, it doesn't go on fucking album. That's just my opinion. That's my opinion. It, it's a rough opinion. It's just filler. Then it's a, it's a, it's a it's a Dragon Ball Z episode before he fights Frieza, and they just want to spread that shit out. Fuck! I hate you know. They just why is the song on the album? And I could say that about at least six songs on this fucking album. That's way too many fucking songs on the album for me to say that. Parallels with its with its little guitar lick beginning like i don't want to shit on it but no i live alone die alone on my own no this is not a good hook this is not a good beginning of a song like this sounds like lincoln park mixed like like corny lincoln park mixed with bon jovi like i don't know who made these lyrics well, they made these lyrics, but why are they doing this with these lyrics? So, like, I'm just waiting for them to sing Boys of Summer at the song. This song is called Night Sway. This just sounds like... This just sounds like it could be a wrestling character's intro in a video game. It's just... It's, it's just metal for the sake of, like... Um... Now, at the very end, I'm gonna put on a real Dance Gavin Dance song in, like jam out to it okay i can't listen to this song this song is say hi like like when you get a when you get a rolling start of trash like when you get one trash song and then you get another trash song that's 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 a bad combo like that's just a bad like two piece and for the fact that people just this is there's a third song on here the next song is called say hi Complete trash. What the fuck am I listening to? This doesn't even sound like them. Like, the next song better be awesome. Now, see, this is the parts that become a blur when I listen to it in real time. Because it was so trash that I just tuned out. So, and this one sounds pretty much, this sounds okay. Nothing Shameful featuring Andrew Wells. I don't know why they have anyone featuring in their songs on their album they're not fucking rappers what the fuck are they doing no it's trash <laughs> into the sunset which is bill mori i don't know it's trash okay um that was the last song um garbage that's my review uh, if you guys liked it please you know leave a thumbs up subscribe all that other shit i'm gonna listen to a good dance da gavin dance album a song just as a palate cleanse